Hi all, this is the Discord application. We'll be coding Discord bot here. We'll be given a list of commands to the bot and bot would be replying back to those commands accordingly. For example, let me give a ping command. So now the bot replied me with the pong command. In the real world, let's uh, take a command called crypto and I'm asking one Bitcoin is equal to how much Ethereum. So if I give this command, bot will fetch this from the crypto exchange rates. This is a real time data. It will fetch one Bitcoin is equal to how many Ethereum. This is the real time data. It would be fetching from the exchange rates. So next, if for example, if you give an, uh, any of the holiday list command like this, so bot would be replying back to the holiday list document for the current organization of the current year. So it will re replying back with that. Holiday list, yep, it was replied back. We'll be getting this document here. So also you can customize the doc bot messages like this. These are some of the use cases for the Discord bot. There are many to be coded. At the end of this course, you will be learning how to code the Discord bot and it would be added advantage to your portfolio. With this, let's get started. My name is Suresh. The prerequisites for this course are the basic understanding of JavaScript. We don't need to be an expert here. The basic understanding is sufficient. Node version should be greater than 12. The reason why node version should be greater than 12 is we'll be using discord.js library here to code the discord bot. This discord.js library need the node version greater than 12. That's the reason we need the node version greater than 12. We'll be using Replet. This is a uh, cloud-based IDE coding platform, which very much similar to the Visual Studio, Sublime Text, or Atom brackets, which are the uh, IDE you are using. It would be very much similar to that, but it would be in the cloud environment. Enter this course will be coding in this Replet itself. By the end of this course, we'll be adding one more lesson, how to set up this environment in the Windows mission as well. So the topics to be covered in this course are, we'll be creating a Discord application, we'll add the bot to that application, and we'll create the server, and we'll add our bot to that server. So also, we'll be learning how to write the basic commands and real-time data usage, like a user information and server, server information commands. Also, we'll try to fetch the crypto exchange rates uh, with an uh, coin Gecko API. We'll try to fetch the real-time crypto exchange rates here. We'll We'll try to customize the bot messages. And also we'll reply back with the, how to reply back with the emojis that are with the Unicode emojis and with the custom emojis. Emojis are like uh, smiley messages. And also we have concept called roles and permissions, which user should have what role to be, do what action in this Discord application. This helps us a lot in, control, in controlling the users and their permissions. Before a user does any action, We'll be checking whether he has that permission or not. Based upon that, we'll do that action or we'll show an user-friendly message to the user saying that he don't have that role or permission. These roles and permissions helps us a lot. We define some rules, rules to our Discord bot application. Someone breaks those rules, you, we can kick or ban them. So you can use these rules and permissions in many ways. Let's see that later. 